How are we doing everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about custom key commands. Key commands are very important in Logic because it helps us do what we want to do faster. And if we don't like those key commands, we need to make sure that we change those. And so let's get into that here. Uh, first we need to go up and select the Logic Pro X from the main toolbar. Then we can go to key commands and then edit. Uh, but first I want to note here that there are some presets. Um, Right now I have US selected. You can also do Logic Pro 9 and this is going to map some of the functionality from Logic Pro 9 into Logic Pro 10 and uh, this is just useful to kind of speed up the learning curve if you are coming from Logic Pro 9. So let's go to the edit here really quick. Uh, so in this interface we have in the main grid command, key, and assignment. Command is going to be something like record. Right? It's going to be mapped to the key command R, and if I were to have an external MIDI controller set up, I can map that to a particular part of that controller. And that's going to show up in the assignment section, but since I don't have that controller set up, I don't have anything in that section. Uh, so that's what's going to go on here in that main view. Over here on the right, we have the key and the modifiers. Now these are read-only positions. So if I select record, it'll show up that there's a key R associated with that command and since I don't have any modifiers on it nothing's going to happen so here in this case the command is going to be a modifier if I have multiple it'll show all of the modifiers um, in that position so just a thing to note here so here I am going to be changing one of the functions that a lot of people find difficult to you know kind of get used to here in Logic Pro 10 if you're coming from Logic Pro 9 and that is that the escape key is not mapped to our tool menu anymore uh, right now it's mapped to the T uh, or the T key right so uh, we're gonna change that so let's type tool into the search bar and you can see that show menu tool or show tool menu is gonna come up in the various windows and you can see it's mapped to T right now so we're going to map that to the escape button and we can do that by a couple ways learn by key label and learn by key position Learn by key position is taking whatever the key whatever the key that you pressed that actual position on your keyboard is going to be mapped to that command. The key label is going to say if I press a key, if say the label is in this case T, it's going to be mapped to key. So if you change a keyboard, uh, I don't know, to maybe like a German keyboard or something, it's going to still be mapped to T. And I don't know, I was just using that as an example. I don't know if that's actually different coming from English keyboard. So that's the difference between those two. I'm going to select learn by key label, press the escape button, and then unclick that. So it's going to be mapped to the escape button as you can see. Another thing to note is that I could have done the exact same thing by going to presets and then Logic Pro 9. You can see that it's still mapped to that escape key. All right, so I'm going to get out of here. And as you can see, when I am in my arrange window and I press escape, that menu will be coming up. So that's what we want to do, right? So uh, that's really all I had to show you. Uh, if you want to also, thing to note here, if you want to import or export key commands, go back to that interface. In, in your options, you can do the import and export. Uh, so that's very important because if you've done a lot of work here, it's very easy to overwrite with selecting a preset at some point. Just make sure you save it just so that it saves you some headache in the future. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If you want to choose my next tutorial, there is a survey in the description below that you should take. And uh, I will be seeing you all very soon. Have a great day.